All right, guys. Um, the last couple days there have been uh, pretty slow around here, mainly because it's just been too hot to do anything out here. Uh, heat index around here was about uh, 115 degrees for about the last four or five days, so it was pretty bad and uh, just didn't do anything but uh, uh, heat has gone down now uh, I think uh, the corn's not doing so good right now uh, it's wilting uh, and they're calling for rain uh, tonight into tomorrow morning there's a chance uh, I'm praying for it because if we don't get any rain tonight, then uh, it's supposed to be dry for the next five days, and I and uh, corn. I don't know if it could make it another five days, but uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm just gonna do a video on my next uh, two projects that I'm gonna be doing here. Um, first uh, project here, I got drug up here. Uh, this is the Kiwani, I think it's 500, uh, let's see here, let's, yeah, Kiwani 500 elevator here, uh, there's a few things that's got to be done to it, um, for some reason, the tube that I put in this tire, uh, it held air fine, it actually did both tires. And uh, when we got it home, it started leaking air, and it just went flat on me, and uh, every time I put air into it, it just blows it back out, so I went out and got a new tube to put back in it, and I'm going to find out why this one uh, doesn't uh, keep its air in. Um, I'm thinking it's got something to do with the tube, which the tube is right, right there, I mean the valve stem. I don't know if there's a rip on it or something. I have no idea, but uh, i work on this. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll get some video of doing that. Uh, just going to repaint the red on here. I'm not too worried about the silver uh, cable. I haven't looked at it yet, but uh might just replace that. Nothing big. I don't know. Looks fine, but I'll have to look at it here. Uh... Um, oh, the other thing on here, I, I'm not sure what's going on with this thing here. Um, it looks to me, if someone uh, took the extension cord and wired it to the motor, and then did this without no ground, and then, uh, I don't know what the kind of mess we got here going, but I take it to shut off switch for it, and uh, probably just gonna take that right off because honestly, I don't really need it. Um, oh, if I can get this thing open. Well, it doesn't want to open, but there's two fuses in there. I'm um, not even sure if it works even, not even sure if the motor works. Uh, it turns freely and everything. Uh, plug in on here is... I've uh, never seen it before. Or actually, I've seen them before, but I don't got anything to plug in to with that end on it, so that's got to be replaced. Um, but I just plan on... Uh, just plan on... Uh, Probably putting a whole new cord on it and probably just ripping that right off because I just don't want it on there. Uh, that is one possibility. I'm also thinking about just putting the PTO shaft on it because I don't have 220. That's a 220 volt motor on there. And I don't have that out there where um, I'm putting my corn crib up. So that's the other deal. Uh, otherwise, it's just, uh, oh, the other problem. 
is, I'm sure it's common, uh, the bottom's uh, rusted out on it, so probably just gonna get a new piece of tin and put on there and call it good. Um, this does have the corn grate in it, and yeah, right there, you can see it. Uh, otherwise, it's straight, ain't bent at all. Even though I do see the frame does have a little slight bent to it. Nothing major, but ain't gonna bother me any. Um, yeah. There's a new coat of red paint and a few minor things and call it good. I do have the corn snout that goes on it. Well, I don't have it yet, but it does have it. I still have to pick it up from the guy that I bought this from, but... Uh, my other project, as you all know, that I got, I think I picked this up a month and a half ago or something like that, but, is, uh, my 20-foot H&S bunk wagon. Now, the plan is to get a new floor into this thing, and, uh, after a rough summer so far, um, it's not going to happen this year. Uh, I do have a price on it. Between in, between five and six hundred dollars to put a new floor in it. Uh, but uh, that's just, I can't do that right now. So I'm going to make it so it works this year. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, my plan is, well first of all what I have to do is uh, these brackets here have to be reinforced. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Uh, they're just all cracked. Uh, it does have to reinforce the floor in it. Uh, I know there's a few of them that are still intact. This one here is bad. Yeah, that one's bad. Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? Uh, that one's bad. And yeah, that one's cracked too. <sighs> uh, this project here is actually going to be a little bit of a big project. Um, what I plan on doing is I got. Uh, uh, I think it's so almost I think it's almost half inch rubber that's gonna pretty much line the whole entire bottom. Uh, it's a, it's it came off a belt conveyor. Uh, it's got to be close to a half inch, but. Uh, my plan is to reinforce all these brackets on here and then uh, um, cut the rubber out and put it in here and uh, I think it'll be good for this year. Um, just the, the main thing is to get these brackets back together. Uh, yeah, this one here looks like it's... This, this one here is still intact yet. A little bit, anyways. Uh, yeah, that one's good yet. So, I don't know. That's the plan. Uh, don't plan on painting it this year. Don't think I have the time to do it. But, uh, a little bit of a project ahead. Uh, don't think there's any holes in the inside of it. Uh, there's only one bad spot. Yeah, right there is a bad spot. That has to be fixed. Uh, the guy that I talked to that's planning on uh, rebuilding my floor. Uh, the middle is fine. Nothing. It's all solid. No rust holes or anything. It's just the outsides that... Uh, I think on all of them that go first. 
Um, if you don't clean them out, that's what happens. And uh, the guy that I bought it from, I don't think he cleaned it out ever. Uh, as you can see, there's still shit in here yet. Uh, so yeah, that's my plan. Um, I get going on that project and get going on this project. Uh, and you guys out there that's got suggestions on either of them, just let me know. Um, yeah, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.